hardcore punk band has attracted controversy with its name and its music. Hi, my name is Stephanie and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we're speaking with F***ed Up. So we'd like to start with the origin stories of the band, so could you give me a brief synopsis of how you guys came together? Uh, it kind of came together in a bit of a crash. It was around, and I love saying this phrase, it was around the turn of the century. And uh, we were all kind of part of sort of disparate social groups in the punk scene and we all knew that each of each, each one of us had sort of something vaguely musical to offer and uh, our guitar player Mike kind of just put together this idea to sew up the strangest, most nonsensical punk band that Toronto could ever hope to produce and, and so we just came together very, uh, very haphazardly. How would you say that your music has evolved from album to album? Oh, it's we're talking amoeba to homo sapien. When we started, our music sounded like raccoon's claws get, trying to get into a garbage can. And now, I, I mean, without sounding too egotistical, I feel like we've reached a stage where we can actually confidently call each other musicians and, and songwriters and, and rely on each other's skills. So I think that one of the greatest things about being a band for so long is being able to actually grow and actually improve at your instrument and improve as a, you know, as a musician. So what was your reaction when you guys won the Polaris Prize for the chemistry of the common life? Absolute shock and awe. Absolute shock and awe. In fact, we had a bet going around our table that Kanon was going to win the award. Everybody took placed bets. They said, who, are you gonna, who do you think is going to win? Who do you think is going to win? And I thought, Almost 100% of the table thought Kanon was going to win, and our bass player actually was the only one who voted for ourselves. And when they said "effed up," we all had our glasses ready to toast some other band, and then we just looked at each other and leapt up in the air and just had to shout and and be happy for ourselves. There's like few moments when you can just sort of let go and not be humble and be happy for ourselves, and I think that was one of them. Did that add any extra pressure for your next record, David Comes to Life? Absolutely it did. I mean, this whole band is predicated on a series of improvements on the last thing that we've done. And, you know, the Valeris Prize is a humongous hurdle to have to, to surmount. I mean, we talked about the evolution of the band, and I'm saying something even as simple as, like, I think that we became musicians uh, over 10 years, and now all of a sudden we get branded with the tag artist. Artistry is, is a whole other level of, of craftsmanship and, and technical technical ability. So we got jolted into artistry after the Polaris. And so how do you live up to being an artist or someone who's recognized by the arts community? You know, you're not just a little speed bump on the road of other bands and you're not just a screaming mess. So it absolutely was a lot of pressure. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for your time. Enjoy the festival.